You probably clicked on this video because you want to know what I use to make these videos. Or you're just bored and you don't know what to do with your life. Anyways, well welcome to my what I use to film and edit my YouTube videos video. Today I'll be telling you, you guessed it, my morning routine. Wake up in the morning feeling like... No, but really, let's get into the video. First things first, I use a mirrorless camera, specifically the Panasonic Lumix DMC FC 300. It's an amazing camera, which I highly recommend. It's simple, easy to use, and produces the best pictures and video. For my tripod, I use a Ravelli APLT4 61 inch lightweight aluminum tripod. I've had no problems except for the pan isn't so smooth. But for my low shots, I use a Joby Gorillapod. I've had a blast using it. Some of the shots I took with this were... Found it. Lighting is very important. That is why I purchased these guys. These are the Limo Studio 700W Photography Softbox Kit. These babies turn night into day and day into sun. What? What? These are really bright and make any sit down video top notch. For example, this is with the light on, this is with the light off. Big difference, huh? I know. Oh, and did I mention that the light bulbs were the size of my head? Yeah. <laughs> to get the amazing audio in almost all my videos, I use the Rode VideoMic Go. This microphone is so easy to use, all you need to do is slide it in and plug it into the camera. That is one of the many reasons why I bought this microphone. If I didn't use the microphone, this is what it would sound like. Test, 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 test. Yeah, I know, right? For the audio voiceovers, I use this bad boy. This is the Blue Yeti microphone. Almost all gamers on YouTube use this mic. I'm not even kidding. If you have the money for it and you need a desk microphone, this is the perfect option for you. Now onto the green screens I use. The first one is the Photo Deox 5x7 collapsible green screen. This green screen is amazing and does what a green screen should do. But the only problem I have with it is I can't fold it back down. Watch. alternative is just to buy a green cloth and hang it up on a bookshelf. This works just as fine, but make sure to iron it first. Now for my favorite piece of equipment. This is something you cannot buy in any store. Actually, my dad and I made this. We made this out of PVC pipe, metal pipe, and a block of wood. This is used for getting perfect and steady shots you wouldn't be able to achieve by just holding a camera. Sometimes the best things are made by you. As I transition onto the programs I use to edit these videos, I will be telling you about the computer I use about five hours a day. Instead of a huge graphics computer, I use a nice gaming laptop. It's the Lenovo Y50. Hey, on some of your videos I saw a monitor on your desk, you liar. Yes, that's actually right. All I did was hook up an HDMI cable to my monitor to make my laptop and monitor a two monitor setup. But I won't be getting into the specifics of that. That's what this video is for. Go check it out. Sony Vegas Pro 13 is my go-to editing software. It might look intimidating, but this program does wonders. To make the thumbnails for Yikes TV, I just hop on to Photoshop CS6. And to record audio overlays, I use Audacity. It's free, so check it out. 
That's about it. Now you know a little bit more about the equipment used to make a Yanks TV video. Until next time.